So right off the back, is it farming? If it is, in my opinion, is it worth farming zigzag over waterworks? No, it is not. Yo, what's poppin' everybody? My name is Smudge, and welcome back to another video. I look like a creeper. I got the hoodie on. I know. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm tired and I'm cold. So please do not flame me in the comments. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we are making this video because we did a one hour farming in the zigzag. If you guys don't know, zigzag is a competitor to uh, waterworks gear at level 60. You can either go for waterworks gear at level 60 or you can go for zigzag gear. And we're going to be comparing uh, which one would be better. Not in this video, but we are going to be doing it in a future video. And I don't know why I brought that up, but um, I'm going to tell you guys what I got from farming zigzag for an hour. Uh, keep in mind, I am a max level. So if you're level 60 and you're watching this video, the dungeon will be harder for you. You won't clear the dungeon as fast as I did, which means you won't be able to do the last boss as fast as I did or as many times as I did. So your drop rate might be a little bit worse or probably will be a little bit worse. But this is just for me, uh, what happened for me, my drop rate and everything like that. So uh, if you guys are not aware, there are different tiers of gear uh, that you get at zigzag. You have the level, you have the tier one gear you have the tier two gear and you have the tier three gear the tier three gear being the best which is the gear that you're going to want to get so right off the back my drop rate was i didn't get any tier three gear except for the hat i believe i got the tier two boots and i didn't get any tier whatever for the robe so so far the drop right here is pretty bad uh considering i was farming for an hour and i could pretty much one shot everything for the first turn except the boss which took maybe two or three turns um but yeah as far as dungeon difficulty goes this dungeon is a lot easier than waterworks uh the waterworks dungeon has a lot of cheating bosses has a lot of bosses with high health um you're definitely not going to be able to solo waterworks you need to be with a group um especially if you're low level you definitely need to be with a group with this zigzag dungeon the dungeon is a lot easier uh, there's only one cheating boss which is the boss at the end the, the big boss which even their cheat isn't all that hard so right off the bat dungeon easiness uh is a lot easier than waterwork i know i said at the beginning of the video i wasn't gonna comp compare both the dungeons but it's kind of just getting out of me and my tiredness cannot control it so yeah right off the bat it's easier than waterworks just saying that flat out it's a lot easier the only difference between the two is waterworks has a cheating boss and zigzag does not uh not cheating but basically you can glitch the dungeon of waterworks where you can respawn the boss a whole bunch of times which is why people will rather farm waterworks because of the cheating boss or the glitching boss versus zigzag i think i'm gonna change this video to uh is zigzag worth farming over waterworks there we go do it so right out the back is it farming if it is in my opinion is it worth farming zigzag over waterworks no it is not and there's a few reasons why i think of this first the drop rate isn't that high okay and second um you can complete waterworks faster due to the glitch of the respawning boss just because of those two factors downright it is not worth farming over waterworks um, but if Waterworks didn't have the glitchable boss that you could respawn over and over and over again, then I believe Zigzags would be worth it over Waterworks because the dungeon for Zigzags, you can complete a lot faster than a dungeon of Waterworks, which means you could do the last boss a lot more times, uh, which means you can get your gear faster. Even though the draw rate is lower, you can get your gear faster. So yeah, all you people out there wondering which one should you go for Waterworks or Zigzag, in my opinion, I think you should go for Waterworks um especially if you have a, f a few friends maybe a max wizard carrying you you guys can do the respawn glitch over and over and over again they could kill easily and uh yeah you'll get your gear pretty 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 fast but um as stats wise just in case you don't know zigzag gear is a lot better than waterworks gear well not a lot better but it does have better stats than waterworks gear um at the end of the day it really doesn't matter because both gear can carry you to level 100 until you get uh, dark more gear and then you're just going to replace that but um if you're just going to stay at level 60 and you want the best gear for level 60 maybe for pvp or whatnot uh then zigzag gear is definitely the way to go other than that i'm sorry that this video was kind of all over the place it went from uh, i farmed zigzag for an hour here's i got to which one's better zigzag or waterworks i apologize but uh, it kind of just slipped out, I guess. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new, uh, be sure to so show some support on the channel, especially if you're new here. Um, and I will catch you guys later on the next video. Have a great day. Peace.